Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about the topic of applying boundaries. Now, boundaries are one of those things that will make your life so much better because they're pretty much like a set of rules that you're giving other people on how you wish to be treated. And as long as you enforce them, you're guaranteeing that people are going to treat you in a way that you approve of and in a way that you like. And you're also going to be guaranteeing that you're not going to tolerate people mistreating you, which will make your life so much better. So let's jump right into it. So first thing here is you really want to spend time thinking about what kind of boundaries you want to create. And you want to create boundaries for your friends, family, and lovers. A lot of people create their boundaries just with lovers. And I get that, but you really want to do it with everyone. You want to have a set of rules for how everyone should treat you because it's going to be different for each group. Like you're going to tolerate certain things from your lovers that you won't tolerate from your friends or family. That's just the way things work. But you truly want to have a set of rules for everyone so that you're not going to open the door to being mistreated by someone just because you like them. You don't want to do that. Anyway, to give you an example here, um, the boundary of cheating is one that's so widespread that it's basically a rule for dating nowadays. But it is just a boundary when you get down to it. You see, cheating is one of those things that we've all kind of agreed on that is a deal breaker. It ends relationships. If somebody cheats on you and you catch them, it's pretty much going to lead to the relationship ending unless you're incredibly insecure and you want to keep the person around just to avoid being single. That's usually how it goes. So you truly want to think about what those deal breakers are for you. Think about them for your lovers. Will you tolerate cheating? Probably not. Are you going to tolerate them showing up half an hour late to every single day? Probably not. And the same goes for your friends. Are you going to tolerate them being half an hour late? Probably not. And same with your family. Each category of people is going to have different rules, of course, because they're all different, but you still want to come up with boundaries for each one. That way, none of them are going to mistreat you. So once you've thought this through and you have an idea of what those deal breakers are for you, those ways that you do not wish to be treated by anyone, now you need to get into enforcing them. So how do you apply your boundaries? Well, the main thing here is learning how to stand up for yourself. I know this is a bit easier said than done, but you truly have to stand up for yourself if you want people to respect your boundaries. If you don't respect yourself, then you're not going to uphold them and then people are going to walk all over you. So it's incredibly important that you get into the habit of standing up for yourself. Start defending your boundaries. When somebody steps over one of your boundaries, tell them, give them a warning. If it's not a deal breaker. If it's a deal breaker, then you're pretty much going to want to cut them out of your life. I know it sounds harsh, but that's, it's a deal breaker, right? If they overstep a deal breaker boundary, which for deal breakers, you pretty much want to communicate them beforehand. So they have an idea. <laughs> you want to let them know that you're not going to tolerate cheating, for instance, so that when they do cheat, they're gone. You told them, you said, Hey, this is a deal breaker for me. If you do that, I'm cutting you out of my life. And then if they do it, well, bye-bye, there's the door. <laughs> you really need to stand up for yourself. And you cannot make exceptions for people for deal breakers. This is another thing that's important. I know that a lot of us, when we, when we really like someone, if they cheat on us, we may get into some cognitive dissonance where we're thinking, oh, they're such a great person, or we thought they were a great person but then they hurt us in that huge way. So we may keep them around just because we like them that much. But hey, look, if they cheated on you, odds are they're probably gonna cheat again. So you're better off just cutting them loose and practicing self-love. This is another huge key here. Self-love, when you practice it, will basically help you tackle a lot of the insecurities that are going to prevent you from defending your, your boundaries. One of the biggest ones here is the fear of being alone. That's a huge insecurity that a lot of people have. When you practice self-love, guess what? You're going to enjoy your own company. So you're not going to be afraid of people leaving you anymore. And that will give you the strength needed to uphold your boundaries. So that way when people 
overstep on those deal breaker boundaries, you'll be willing to let them go because you'll respect and love yourself enough that you're not going to tolerate that behavior from anyone, friends, family, lovers, anyone. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. So to summarize this video, you pretty much want to, one, create boundaries that are solid and that you are willing to uphold. And two, you want to stand up for yourself, so actually enforcing those boundaries. And three, you want to practice self-love, which will help you enforce those boundaries and make it so that you attract higher quality people in your life in general. Anyway, I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!